Hello everyone, in this video I am going to talk about Quantiply platform and show you how you can start your own algo trading journey. In the end of the video I am also going to share my honest feedback about the platform. So basically if you use the link in the description below and sign up you can see this screen getting popped up on your laptop. After that firstly you will have to add some kind of uh, you have to buy some kind of plan or you can use the free 7 day free trial to start your algo trading journey. After that you have to go to the broker login setup and select on broker setup so if you select on broker setup you can see upstock zeruda ifl angel finvesia i personally prefer finvesia and zeruda for my algo trading so you can use that so there is a setup tutorial video and you can sign up on that so after that basically uh, you can start your algo trading journey by creating an algo here so click on create an algo now i am using the stock mock platform to show you an algo trading uh, setup or algo trading strategy here so let's take the strategy here. Uh, I have selected the pen button here and I can see the inside of the strategy. So let me show you that here we are selling at the money call at the money put at 9.30 am with a stop loss of 45% on each legs. The timing for the strategy is from 9.30 to 15 that is 3 o'clock. So after I have done that now what you can do is basically whenever you get an algo trading strategy from stock mark you can directly code it in quantiply. So let, let me show you now. So let's go to this section and I will write the name here let's say as S10 here or S1 here and write the name as 930 to 15. Okay so one, uh, once I have written the name I can select the call option side and I have to sell it right. So I am shorting an option here I am going to select sell I am going to select put option and then I am going to short and add leg here. So after that I have added leg the percentage can be added or uh, the stop losses for any kind of legs will be added here from the red button here and the SL percentage is 45. So 45% I have added the stop loss here. Now we are squaring of all legs from the algo basically we have selected square of uh, square of one leg here right. So square of leg here we have added here and move SL to cost if, if your move SL to cost is selected here we will select move SL to cost and the start time we are going to select as 9.30 the end time we are going to select as 3 o'clock so whatever your start time and end time is there you can basically change the timings let's say 9.30, 11.30, 12.30 whatever the end start time and end time is there you can select uh, basically that after that uh, if there is no M2M -M target we do not have to worry about the M2M -M target let's say that we have an M2M -M stop loss of total 2000 rupees per lot so if you have added 2000 rupees per lot then it is 2000 rupees for one lot right if i change this 1x to 2x i have to change this m2m -M stop loss as well from 2000 to 4000 here okay so currently in this strategy we do not have m2m -M stop loss so i will remove that after that we are going to come down and go to the advanced settings here so in case of advanced settings here this this is the basic advanced settings of uh, quantiply now entry order type always has to be the market order the exit order type always has to be a limit order with a five point difference here okay limit order has to be there with a five point difference and let's say if your limit order does not get filled with five seconds in, in within five seconds then it is uh, going to go into market order and this is a part of the risk management of the platform so if the limit order gets skipped let's say and then it will go to the market order and execute the uh, leg whatever the leg is sl order placement place in advance only we are already placing the sl within the broker so we do not have to change any kind of uh, settings here no settings have to be changed so entry order delay always has to be no delay exit order delay always has to be no delay calculate entry price from average entry price calculate exit price from average exit price trailing frequency has to be one minute so this was about creating a strategy a plain vanilla strategy like a straddle with different percentage sl now let's say if you want to put a point percentage sl so you can put points here you can see sl percent sl points so you can even keep point percentage after that let's say that you want to put a target on individual legs so you can select 97 percent as the target if you want let's say on an expiry day i do not want to hold the strategy till one rupees or zero rupees i want to strategy i want to close the strategy from three four rupees only right so this is how 
uh, i've closed my strategy i can close my strategy with a certain target percentages that i want or let's say that you want to put target points or uh, for example um, let's say that you want to uh, capture only 100 points on an, any individual leg so i'm going to use target points as 100 here okay so these are all uh, these are all customizable terms based upon your own algo trading strategy and you can change the settings accordingly right so this was about the basic strategy without uh, re-entry and you can even duplicate the algos on multiple number of days and you can select the client on which algo on which client do you want to duplicate right so let me just duplicate the strategy on friday only so i have once i have duplicated this strategy on friday you can clearly see that the under under the friday section i can see that the strategy has been formed here so let us create one more strategy, an advanced strategy that has re-entry, M2M stop loss and uh, let's say different features. So this is uh, one of my favorite strategies known as the 11am re-entry strategy. So let me show you how we can code the 11am re-entry now. So in this 11am re-entry, we can see the closest premium is less than 120. The call side and the put side with the stop loss of 20% and re-entry of 1 on individual legs. The M2M that is there here is 2000 rupees for every single lot. So you have to understand this that M2M that is there is for single lot here. And let's say the outside multiplier is 6 here. So if the outside multiplier is 6, then the M2M inside will be 12,000 rupees when we practice this strategy. Okay, because outside the multiplier is 6, inside the lot is 1 here. So we are trading 6 lots here. Okay, so let me show you in this example. How you can select the closest premium in this 11 am re-entry is my strategy name let's say okay once i have added this strategy here i am going to select the call and short here and short here so i have added this you can see both the calls here i will change one call and one put now once you have selected on the legs i will write premium less than 120 Okay, so if my if I want to select a premium less than 120, I'm going to use premium less than 120. Let's say in some other strategy, you want to select premium greater than 200. So I'm going to write premium greater than 200. So you can clearly see the difference here. Premium less than 120, premium greater than 200. But now we have a strategy that is less than two, uh, 120. So we are selecting 120 here. After that, the stop loss percentages that are there is 20% individual legs. I will write it individual legs. Now, there is no move SL to cost, so I am not going to select that. And there is re-entry here. So, re-entry on stock mock here. So, you can see the re-entry on stock mock is re-cost re here. Okay. So, I have to select re-cost one time here. I have to select re-cost one time. If this re-entry would have been two times, three times, four times, then I would have changed this number to two, three, four, whatever the re-entry is. Right. Now, I am doing only one lot here. There is no move vessel to cost. There is no wait and trade feature. There is no re-entry or uh, there, there is no uh, other settings here. So I am going to change the timings here to 11 a.m. And change the exit time to 15.25 based on the algo, based on the backtesting that I have done. So in the backtest, I have selected 15.25, that is 3.25 p.m. So I have done 3.25 here. Now there is a fixed stop loss as well. The stop loss is 2000 rupees per lot. So I am going to change the stop loss to 2000 rupees per lot. Now, in if in future, let's say that you have lock and trail feature. Okay. So if you have lock and trail features, then you can change the settings in this setting. You can use lock and trail profit like for every profit that reaches 1000 rupees. For if the profit reaches 1000 rupees, lock profit at 500 rupees. That means if my profit touches 1000 rupees, I am going to take home at least 500 rupees whenever if there is a reversal. And for every 500 rupees profit, let's say, I am going to trail my profits by 500 rupees. Okay. This means that at 1000 rupees, the minimum profit that is logged is 500 rupees. Now, every time my profit reaches or increases by 500 rupees, my trailing stop loss, the trailing profit would increase by 500 here. So this is a very good feature if you want to protect your profits in case of reversal. This is this is a feature that you can uh, that, that can handle reversals and as well and you can exit as soon as the stop loss. Uh, let's say there is a reversal and the trailing stop loss gets it. But currently we do not have any kind of uh, lock and trail in this particular strategy. So I'm going to remove this strategy here, right? 
Now, after that, there is a very important feature here in the advanced setting of using re-entry here. I am going to enter it, uh, into the markets with market order. The exit order always has to be a limit order here with a five point difference. Understood. Now, the same settings, th there is no change in SL order placement delay in advance or anything like that. We have to say, uh, remain, we have, we have to, we don't have to change anything here. Now, this is one of the important feature. Re-entry always has to be on candle close if you are using stock mock platform for backtesting. Okay. So, re-entry always has to be on candle close whenever you are using the stock mock platform. So, do not, uh, this is a very important feature and do not take this uh, lightly because your backtesting and live trades will not match if you use uh, LTP for candle close. So, I have shown you this strategy as well where my uh, where i have used the advanced setting as well to make you understand how you can use the re-entry features for uh, re-entering into the markets here okay so this is how you can select the settings of the re-entry feature now i'm going to show you third example where i'm using the lock and trail feature as well as uh, the re-execute features right so now let's say that you don't want to do, uh, make the entire algo again and again. What you can do is just duplicate any kind of algo here. So I'm going to select duplicate and change the name, change the name from S1 to S3 and write the name as re-execute strategy. You can change the name accordingly, whatever you want, even after you made have, even after you have made the strategy. So no, that is not an issue. So you can clearly see the algo has been duplicated successfully. So S3 is my re-execute strategy. Now, this is the strategy of my re-execute where I am selling add the money strike price call put with 45% SL and to re-execute with move SL to cost here. So let's say that I am putting a 45% SL here. So I will change the SL to 45%. There is no target. So I will change the target and I will not have any kind of target here. Now let's take an example where I am using a re-execute. So I have selected re-execute here. So Re-execute on stock mock is re-execute on quantiply, but re-entry on stock mock, mock is re-cost on quantiply. Okay, so I am going to select re-execute and there is two times in my strategy. There are two times. So I am going to basically change the uh, maximum number of re-execute uh, re to two times here. So re-execute is two times. Done. After that, there is no, uh, you do not have to change anything. Move vessel to cost is selected. Change the timing accordingly. And re-execute re is also on candle close. Re-entry as well as re-execute always has to be there on candle close only. So this is also one of the most important features that you have to remember. You do not have to worry about any of the settings here. Like uh, you do not, you don't select uh, these settings. Okay, there is no need of selecting these settings. Only no matching of premiums have to be selected. Uh, we generally don't use M2M target. Now in this we see the lock and trail is for 2000 rupees, 1000 and 1000 rupees it is 500. So I'm going to select lock and trail, lock and trail profit for 2000. It is per profit. Okay. So amount, it is in total amount here and not percentage. So I'm using amount here. So for 2000 rupees profit, it is zero rupees and for 1000 rupees profit, it is 500 rupees. So I am go, I only have to say, check the settings in quanti, uh, uh, stock mock here and just re-execute or just copy the setting from stock mock to quantify platform. Okay. So this is how you can do the re-execute strategies here. Now let me show you some of the most uh, advanced features like wait and trade. So in wait and trade, basically we wait for an option premium to come down or go higher by a certain points or percentage before we take any kind of trade. So basically in this strategy, what I'm doing is I am shorting a ATM plus 200 call and ATM minus 200 put, which I'm waiting for the premium to drop by 10% and then I'm going to take an entry with uh, the stop loss of 45% here. So let's take an exit time as 15.25 here and re-entry is not there so we are not selecting re-entry and total moving sl to cost we are using uh, we are not using move sl to cost in this uh, strategy so this is the final strategy let's take an example here now how do we code this strategy so go to create an algo here and type the name wait and trade so once i have uh, written the name of wait and trade i'm going to select the call option now in this i can select the strike directly otm2 here and sell call 
I can change the uh, strike to op uh, put option here and short ATM plus 200. That is ATM plus 200 is OTM2, right? On call and ATM plus 2, ATM minus 200 is simply OTM2 on put. Okay, ATM plus 200 on call is OTM. ATM minus 200 on put is also OTM, right? So it is out of the money option here, right? So right uh, now I'm going to use the wait and trade feature to come down percentage wise. Percentage wise, I am waiting for 10% drop here. My stop loss is 45% here. Stop loss is 45% here. I have added stop 45% stop loss. There is no move SL to cost. I am not changing anything. Let's say that I have added uh, the timing from 9.15, so 9.30 to 15.25, 15.15 here. Okay. Now, after that, let's say that we do not have any kind of MTM stop loss. Now, in wait and trade feature, I am going to show you when one important uh, thing here. In wait and trade, basically, your entry order type always also has to be on 5 point difference. And exit order also has to be there on 5 point difference. The limit and the trigger price. Because in wait and trade feature, mostly uh, most of the times, the slippages are higher. So, always, always have a limit order for entry whenever you are using the feature of wait and trade in quantify okay to reduce your slippages we are this this is only done to reduce the slippages in the longer run and entry order delay there is no delay exit order delay there is no delay in this scenario okay so uh, apart from that there is no settings you have to worry let's say we add a lock and trail feature trailing stop loss or apart from that let's say that we have added a trailing stop loss here 10% 10% okay so we have added 10% and 10% so how do we add the trailing stop loss in quantify so in case of trailing stop loss you can see the percentage here the yellow bar is the trailing stop loss 10% 10% so this is how you can add the trailing stop loss that is from uh, that is there in stop mock here so this was about the complete algo tutorial of one of the best platforms in india for algo trading journey personally i trade with more than 2 cr capital using this platform and i personally like this i have also met the owner of this platform and you can use the link in the description below to sign up and start your algo trading journey now if you are a trader with 4 to 8 lakh capital and want to start your algo trading journey this is one of my best option selling strategies that you can start with and this has given us a return of more than 330 percent over a period of four years while the drawdown is on a higher side that is five percent maximum loss in a day is at around two percent and expectancy of the basket is at around 0.58 so this is an excellent basket that has given consistent returns of around 75 80 80 percent every year with a limited drawdown if you are interested to know more about the strategy you can use the link in the description below and contact me on whatsapp the number is 7674007938. Personally, I use Quantiply for all my algo trading journey. And I think it is one of the best platforms in India for starting or to scale up your capital as well. So if you are interested to know more about this, you can WhatsApp me on the same number uh, using the link in the description below. I hope you like the video and you have understood a lot of things. And thank you.